everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome to my walkthrough for Pop Tropica's Mystery of the Map Island. And guys, this island has a little glimpse into the lore and history of Pop Tropica and gives us some of the answers to why there's a map and what's going on in Pop Tropica. So it's a really awesome island, and I have the full walkthrough for you guys. This is not an island in parts, it's the full thing before we get into it guys please go ahead and pick up those chopsticks poke that like button as hard as you can now let's get started with the island and we start right here with the blimp and right over here is a guy in a tree and i thought it was balloon boy at first but it isn't uh, and that bird is useful for nothing other than squawking <laughs> i don't know why it's a pretty bird but it's useless Anyway, he's stuck in a tree. We need to help him down. Use this to help him find it. He gives us a little map of the tiny island that we are on, which is really a cool way for us to go through the island. So we grab it. It's a corner of a larger map. And, well, there's a bunch of places. We're in the jungle. Right there's the balloon and the tree. And then there's a shipwreck over here. Then we've got a camp with a tent and another Viking ship. You guys notice a lot of Viking stuff. We got the dodos. We have the waterfall. And finally, we have the fortress over here. We're going to have to visit all of these to complete the island. We're going to start with the camp. And look at that. Isn't that cool how, you, how it's got the path? I really, really liked that. Uh, so we go and we pick up the shovel. It really is that simple. And then uh, you can either pull up the map or you can just go to the right. I'm going to pull up the map here, but it does the same effect. Just going back the way you came back to the jungle. And we're not going to dig up the tree, guys, because you just don't do that. So, so we keep running over to our right here. And next screen. And here we go. We've got the Viking ship in the sand. And there's a pile. Well, there's a pile of sand right here. If you click on it, it'll say, I can't do that with my bare hands. Of course, we already have a shovel, so we'll use that. And we'll dig and dig. And guys, Pop Tropicans are amazing diggers. Look at that. Look at that. So fast. And finds a battle axe, which works just as good as a tree chopping axe so why don't we chop down that tree that the balloon guy is in i can't call him balloon boy because that's a different person on pop tropica so open it up click the battle axe there and this is a crazy axe to be using on a tree but hey it'll work and of course the obligatory timber and yes the guy falls down and he seems to be fine. Don't forget to pick up the rope there, but he seems to be just fine. And uh, you can read the story when you play it. But anyway, we need to help him get it back because some kids stole the rest of the map from him to sell it. Ridiculous. So anyway, he needs the rest of the map so he can uh, reassemble it and give us some of the profits, which seems a little fishy, but that's okay. Uh, so let's pull that map up because he took off and he's not going to help us. And it's up to us again. So why don't we head over to the... Fortress. We'll start there. Looks like a place we want to go. He did mention it, so um, that's where the kids are. And look at that route. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then, okay, just go over to your left here and just fall into the sand pit. And oh, it's so disgusting, but something shiny popped out. So, of course, we go through trash and muck like we always do in Bop Tropica. And uh, you can either pull up the map or head to your right, and you'll see here that it'll pull the map up anyway. Perfect. And then we'll head over to the waterfall and wash this cup out, right? Well, kind of. <laughs> so jump into the water, open up your inventory, pull out the cup, and you'd think you would wash it, but no, you can catch a fish with it. So go <laughs> down and click on one of the fish right there and stuff his head into the cup. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> and check it out. <laughs> I stuffed him in and I think each time because when I played it before for Road to Captain Think Noodles his head went in differently so he, he was sort of like laying on the side you could see his face but anyway head over to the dodos lots of birds flying around although dodos don't fly so um anyway uh there they are the dodo birds if you go near them they do not like you and you do need to go up there and get that now it looks like a crystal egg but you'll see in a second it isn't let's get that hermit crab moving uh right over here just go ahead and pull out that fish and drop him on the ground. <laughs> and the dodo birds love him. And he flops away as they chase him. Good fishy! It looks like Flounder from the Little Mermaid, doesn't it? 
<laughs> anyway, there's all these candy bar wrappers. Don't forget that. Well, I'll show you, but there is a reason for that. Grab the lens. See, it's not an egg. Told you. Uh, okay, so now we need to go down to the camp because something has changed here. You couldn't do this before. You had to go through and do a lot of this stuff first. Um, and then you can go back to the camp. And there was a crazy guy there, but now he's asleep. You don't have to worry about him. Uh, go ahead and pick up his gunpowder. And uh, you can click on him and it'll say something like he's off in snooze land or something. Yeah, it's like the express train to snoozeville. And then what you're going to want to do is go back up to the waterfall and um, watch this route. <laughs> this is crazy. Do, 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 Pass the dodos around the fort. <laughs> I think that's the longest uh, path in, in this map. So, or in this island. Uh, so make your way up to the top because, well, because there's platforms. This is Pop Tropica. If there's platforms, you need to jump on them, okay? Uh, we'll continue our way to the top. And up, there's a broken sign saying go up. So of course, we follow instructions. And then we get to here, and you guys will notice, can't move the rocks, you're not strong enough. There's a light source here, looks pretty bright. And well, why not put some gunpowder there, see if we can move it, and then we'll put down a rope, make a fuse. And of course, for all of you guys who have burned ants with a magnifying glass before and set them on fire, that's what we're about to do except no ants. So there we go, we set the fuse, and kaboom, and Although it looks like it hit us, it went past us, and then head down, and then you'll notice right here, the water has changed. We could walk down there before, but no, we rerouted the whole river by sort of making a dam out of rocks. So, if you guys look on the map, the river leads into the fortress and maybe fills the moat? Hmm? Hmm? Maybe? Huh! Look at that! It filled up the moat! Yay! We we helped the castle have a moat. Uh, well, it does come into our favor. There's a tree here with a little mark in the bottom, so we still have our tree chopping battle axe. Knock it down. One, two. Looks like looks like in um, Terraria. That that looks like the same motion. Anyway, or realms, obviously. I don't know why I said Terraria. Uh, anyway, we go into there. And the little chute full of garbage and food and muck and stuff. And then this guy thinks that we are one of the servants or waiters, I guess. We could just say a waiter. So, Juntun. So, anyway, uh, yeah, we are supposed to go feed these people who are telling lovely jokes like what has six eyes, six arms, six legs, three heads, and a very short life. Um, three people running from a bear. Oh, three people about to be eaten by a dragon. Ha 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 ha. And he keeps telling it over and over, by the way. So enjoy that, guys. Uh, go ahead and pick up that tray. And now we are the servant waiter. And give it to the big guy first, okay? He looks very, very upset. Can't eat his meat without his mead. Continue along slowly with it over your head. Don't spill them. Give it to him. And then one more this person, boy or girl. I'm not sure because it said boy, like it said, be, or. Serve the men and women, so I don't know. Anyway, head over to your right to the piggies. And there's a cute little piggy piggy. And oh, oh, it's the balloon guy. And uh, looks like he might be scamming the kids here. I don't know. Uh, he just wants them to give him the map. It looks like he wants to get some, I don't know, some money or something. It looks like he's using the poor kids. So anyway, they give him the map. And of course, he will know the secrets of Pop Tropica with the map. And, uh, yep, we'll be on our way, and unfortunately, yeah, no, he got what he wanted, and he's out of here. He's gonna slip on a disguise and take the map. Goodbye! Oh, he ripped off those kids. How rude! And, oh, here comes a guard. And he is teasing the piggies. Look, that's rude! That's a cute piggy! So, anyway, we have to get past him, and he doesn't like us very much. So, we should pay him back for being mean to the pigs. So if you go over here, there's a bucket of slop right up there. Pick it up. Well, drippings, but it's a bucket of slop. And we'll run past the table again because they think we're the waiter. And then we will go ahead and throw the slop. Well, not completely at the pigs, actually. We uh, <laughs> cover him in it. Look, he's completely covered in it. And uh, there's more than one pig there, apparently. There is a stampede. 
<laughs> and he's gone. So now we've got the kids. Help us out. Well, it's a wooden door. We still have our wooden chopping battle axe. One. Two. Come on, you got this. Three. Yeah. Woo. -hoo. All right. Here we go. We get our medal. Not quite. Anyway, I thought that's what they were giving me here, but no. It's a candy bar. <laughs> and, well, Jorge had can candy bar and they're upset a little bit, but either way, we can't get past the Vikings. They'll throw them back in the cage. We need a disguise, so of course it's on me to get Viking clothes and get them out. And, you know, I'm a nice guy, so I will help out the poor kids who just got scammed by Octavian anyway. So we'll run over here, and right on the back of his chair is a fur, so grab that. And then continue over to the left and down into the basement here. I think it's a basement. It looks like a basement. I'm not sure. But anyway, I guess it's not because you can see outside. But uh, anyway, someone stole his goblet. No judgment. He just wants it back. And he's going to close his eyes, count to 10. And whoever has the goblet can just put it down. And no judgment. So no problem. So he's always like this when he misplaces his things. But you guys remember... We did happen to get a goblet that fell out of the trash chute. So we'll take care of this. We don't want to get caught with it. So we can't we can't show it. So what we'll do is we'll put it on this tray right here and then pick it up and then we'll head down and make sure one of them grabs it. So if he opens his eyes before he counts to 10 or whatever, we're not the ones holding the goblet and they are. We don't get in trouble. So give it to the first guy. There you go, buddy. He's still sweating. I don't know about calming his nerves. He still looks like he's sweating. Okay. There you go. Enjoy that. And give one to her. Okay. Everybody's been pretty pretty nice about it. But this guy, when you give it to him, he's like, yeah, thanks, dude. See? Look at that. About time, lad. And, uh-oh, ten. That's what you get for being rude. <laughs> Thorlack. Thorlack. Uh-huh. But the servant. Who do you think? I'm Captain Thing Noodles. I'm not a servant. Are you kidding me? Ugh. See, that's what you get. Blame it on me. And look, no judgment. Doesn't matter. Look at everybody backing away. And oh, oh almost hit him with the hat. He's so mad. We're going to pick up that hat. Oh, man. Look at my epic action. A <laughs> frozen action shot. That was awesome. Um, okay, let's keep going to the right. Now we've got the fur. We've got the helmet. And I thought you'd need three things, but you actually need two to sneak out. And you'll see why in a second. So go ahead and use the fur. And you give it to this fella here and you can't see him anymore. That was Jorge, I think. Uh, then take the helmet, use it. And, um, <laughs> well, we make a costume for all four of us. And, <laughs> yes, it leans back and forth. So what you need to do is make sure you're always leaning forward. Let it lean, 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 lean. And then take a few steps. And then and let it lean forward, forward, forward. Because uh, if you go too far and let it go to the back, you're going to have to run backwards. And you'll never get anywhere that way. So just let it keep leaning forward and forward. And then keep offsetting it as you walk. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Oh, oh, and see. Oh, yeah. See, if I'd gone the other way, we would have had to go back about 10 steps. So just keep going, keep going. When you, when you get about past the fire, you can just click on there. And we're in. We made it past. Except... Um, <laughs> big guy who we are supposed to be, uh, uh oh, <laughs> exactly. So we jump out of the chute as quickly as we can. I'm not really a prisoner, by the way. I I'm just the servant here. So, you know, don't chase me. Uh, anyway, we get on the log and I thought this was a really, really cool, uh, sort of mini game within it. I really liked it. Uh, the, the... I don't know. You'll see. So when you move around, look, it looks like you're moving. It really like the log gets bigger and smaller. Oh, <laughs> oops. There. And uh, all you do is click in different spots and you can move around. Seemed pretty easy, except for the potential problem coming up behind. <laughs> there he is. It's the big guy with a rock that he throws at you. And all you really need to do is uh, hang back a little bit uh, so that you have most of the screen to move. And then... Uh, Hang back, and he gets ready to throw the rock. Wait, wait, wait. And when you see it go in the air, just click somewhere else and move out of the way. And you should be totally fine. Um, in both times I played it in, in the walkthrough and Road to Captain Pink Noodles, didn't get hit once. So I'm, I'm not sure uh, if you can get hit 
and still make it through. Because sometimes you can get hit like three times or something or two times before it fails. Uh, I don't really know, uh, but you can go over the rocks. It does slow you down a little bit. You don't crash, uh, but uh, I think we should be finishing up in just one second. I think this is the last throw here. Yep, there it is. Sorry, bud. We win and you can't catch us because um, we're going over a waterfall. Woohoo! And there's the dodo birds if you saw them. And we land. Well, apparently we have to swim back and... Well, that's far enough. We've caught Octavian. The Dodos are with him and he is sailing away and we cannot stop him because he's got the boat right there. We'll be stuck on this little island forever. It's a nice island though, but anyway, the Dodo birds are are really into it. They really want to um <laughs> they really want a part of this and we have to find a way to stop him. We're kind of chasing the crab, I think. But if you remember the candy bar that I talked about before, throw it at him. And guess what happens to Octavian? Uh-huh. Those dodo birds are not very nice. And they chase him away and he drops the map. <laughs> Jorge only cares about the food. But now they can find their way back home out of Pop Tropica. But of course, we're not going. I'm Captain Think Needles. I've got my own adventures in store here in Pop Tropica to continue. And in case we never see them again, woohoo! Island Medallion, which is... The end of the island! <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, guys. If you did and it helped you in any way to complete the island, please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, new line!